So by the time this video comes out, it is now October and I have to do my monthly little calendar. Now that we're in full swing of fall season, it's actually starting to get cold where I live and like I can actually layer up now and like wear pants and long skirts and tights, which is really, really fun. Instead of like boiling and sweating a lot in this apartment. I really loved a uh, September spread. I think it ended up really cute and it's like all filled up with my daily little chart of chores and stuff I had to do. It's all like nice and neat because I don't use this journal for school stuff. I use my Hobonichi for school stuff. So it's not like there's no scribbles all over here. That's why I have like this this separate thing to keep it nice and nice and pretty just for me, a little self-care thing. And now the time has come to turn a new leaf and do October's spread. So it's time to collage and draw and cut stuff out of paper and glue it onto another piece of paper. For this month, I think I'm going to do like one of the same things I did in August, which is take my monthly print from my Patreon and like sort of cut it out and put it as the accent on this page because I looked through all of my like drawing cutouts which most of them are Ikegami Yoriyuki um but a lot of I, I I don't have one that like reminds me of October I did last year but I, mean, I can't just repeat the same thing that I did last year so I'm gonna do my uh Patreon print for the accent art on this side of the page which speaking of First off, we have the monthly themed 2x2 glitter sticker. This month's theme is a little crepe. Then we have two paper stickers. One continues the crepe theme with a little sweet treat. And the second one is actually a little, a little spooky ghost one for October. It's a little ghost cat. Then we have another glitter sticker. And this one is from a very old drawing that I did. Uh, any OG Masatoro fans uh, recognize it, let me know. But yeah, we have another glitter sticker. A monthly mini playlist of all the songs that I've been listening to on some cute little stationery that I designed for the month. I think this one ended up really cute with the purple and green, especially the little doodles of the candle and the little ghost cat. And then of course the main event, a mini 555 print based off of the monthly theme. And we have a little crepe with uh, three little vintage inspired plushies. If you want to see the inspiration for it, I have the time lapse up on my Patreon. So in summary, with the $5 tier, you get the mini playlist, two paper stickers, and one glitter sticker. And with the $10 tier, you get all of the previous awards. So in total, you're getting the playlist, two paper stickers, two glitter stickers, and of course, the 555 monthly print. So yeah, if you're interested in any of these rewards, I highly, highly recommend checking out the Patreon, especially if you're like me and you scrapbook or journal or just like cute stationery and stickers and art. This is a good way to get them received to your mailbox monthly. Also, I saw that Patreon opened up like the option to have a shop on your page. So I'm actually going to start selling the very past tier um, stickers that if you just joined recently and you are a patron, you can buy any of the stickers that you, if you wish you could have got one many months back, now you can. Except I have to set it up first, so maybe in the next video I'll announce that. Also, check out my nails. I finally got into like doing nails and I like make, I make press-ons now, which is, I was not expecting that in my 2023 bingo card, but I I make press-ons now and I made myself a very short, just daily wear pair and they stay on for like more than two weeks. It's, it's really nice and convenient. If you guys have watched my videos for a long time, you know that I'm always struggling with like redoing my gel nails every week because they peel off immediately, which is not fun. So having very cute, dotted, spotted, polka dotted, uh, colorful nails 24-7 for like three weeks is very convenient and nice and I like, they're so strong and I like it. So yeah, that's a, that's a nail update. So without further ado, you've seen the Patreon update, you've seen the past September spread, let's do October spread. I don't know what the theme is yet, we'll find out. I feel like the top of my ceiling isn't really ever shown, but it's really cool. There it is. 
I feel like it's been forever since I recorded anything, but really it's just been like a couple of weeks. If you've seen my other videos, you are no stranger to the process to these monthly spreads. I have little pouches and boxes full of cuttings. Uh, these are either from food packaging, candy wrappers, uh, prints that I make, notepads, and just any sort of stationery in general. Uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted to do what I did in August, which is take my monthly print and sort of cut out the main subject. So I did that here with the crepe and the three little vintage plushie guys. I gathered some like similar warm toned, it's not even warm toned, it's like green and, it's green and purple, so we'll, we'll let it slide. But um, I gathered up a lot of green and pink and purple. Then I looked to my previous spreads to see where I put my calendar on the right hand side. Uh, I try to align it with the dots and just sort of, I, I, I like the alignment I have so I always look back to the previous ones. I have a bunch of like, as you can see right now, you can see that the theme is very, it's very pink and green. Uh, I wanted to do a lot of sweets for this spread because obviously Halloween, trick or treating, candy. Then I go over the calendar and pen, which is obviously for me one of my most favorite parts because I just like to see it run so smoothly on the time lapse. And I wanted to continue the same use of purple from my mini playlist, so I cut out the little candles and the little ghost cat guy, and then I did my favorite cutout method of the October in the same purple color. Okay, so this process has been sort of all over the place because I don't know where I'm going with it, but I know I'm doing green, pink, and purple uh, because green and purple give me Halloween vibes and that's why I did the Patreon playlist in this theme. I was thinking of making the days of the week in purple, but I only have these colors. I'm missing my purple pencil crayon because I forgot my big pencil case at school, so yay. I want to do some like polka dots, orbs in the background of yellow, pink, blue, green to make it like the print that I did. So yeah, we'll see. I also want to add this like floating strawberry somewhere. Of course, more stars. I put washi tape down here and I really like how it ended up. I'll probably put some more washi tape up here and yeah, we'll see how it goes. And in this month's segment of what I'm watching in the background, we have The Office uh, being streamed in a very uh, legal and official way uh, while I draw out my polka dots and glue some little extra tidbits down. I cut out some mini stars with my little star hole punch from the same light purple construction paper so it would like float throughout the theme. I went back in to fill in any small gaps with more washi tape and as you can see I'm going to enter my personal uh, washi tape graveyard to gather up any missing little pieces that I wanted to use. Uh, I'm using the 2023 and the 2022 washi tape that I have in my shop right now. Uh, I like these the most because you can rip up the little individual images to make little stickers to go on, on anything you want. And there we have the final October 2023 spread. I really was not expecting it to turn out this way, but I'm so happy with how it did. I love the little candy theme and the purple that I've never used before. So yeah, maybe I should incorporate it in future ones. It's so strange to think that we only have November and December left in this journal. Very, very exciting too. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you also did your little monthly plan for October if you do that kind of thing. If not, and this was just a background video, thank you for putting it on the background. I do the same thing and that's why I make these and I feel like I say that every video, but it's true, that is why I make them. So September is now over and we have moved on to October. I'm really happy.
happy with how this turned out. I don't think I've ever worked with like a green and purple color palette. Um, in honor of the purple in the video, I wore my very old uh, Gem Lazy Oaf shirt. I don't think I've worn this a single time. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I kept it. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. Also, I feel like I should just do another studio vlog soon, even though I'm not really here that much. I'm always in class and doing like not Masatoro related stuff. Also, I'm working on my own striped socks. Oh, it looks so cute with this outfit. Look at that. Um, I'm really excited for these. Uh, this is my third pair of socks now, uh, and I think they're gonna be my favorite. It wasn't even intentional for them to be like matchy with with the fall uh attitude but it, it does fit in with fall so i'm very excited about that and it matches ew, it's so cute um yeah i'm very excited for these socks i um i should do another like little art uh studio vlog maybe uh now that i finally have a school studio so i can show you like paintings and stuff also i'm gonna like make a post about this on instagram with just like a little doodle or something. But um, as I've said on my Patreon and maybe in the last video, I'm not gonna be posting as much on Instagram. I am going to focus on being a full-time student and that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm just knitting and going to class and taking notes and doing homework and just being a young person in university. Uh, after so long of uh, doing Masatoro for like two, three years, I am sort of like slowly just taking a little step back. Um, shop update, well, there's probably only gonna be one more, you know, until the end of the year. Uh, maybe in December, who knows? Uh, we'll see if I have time. But yeah, it's, it's not the end of an era. Uh, once summer comes along, I'll have time to work on it. And once I graduate, it'll probably be like half of my job. So yeah, that's that's that little update if you watch to the end of the video and you're a Masatoro stan, if that's how um, you first met me, is if that's how you first found me is through my um, shop, then yeah, that's, that's a little tidbit of, of new information. That's pretty much it. Uh, go enjoy October, go uh, watch Over the Garden Wall, and have a very, very happy Halloween, and I will see you very soon after Halloween for the November setup video. And I'm very excited to do a Hobonichi uh, 2024 unboxing uh, and decorating video. I have chosen my 2024 Hobonichi. Uh, if you want to guess which one it is, let me know. I might have commented it in um, the past video replying to some comments, um, but yeah, I, I came to a conclusion on which one I'm going to choose. I'm going to customize it a lot because again, as I said, I'm not in love with with the, the choices we had, but there is one choice that, that I figured I could customize, so I'm going to be customizing that one in the next video. If you're a Hobonichi fan, um, be sure to check that one out because I love Hobonichi customizing. And finally, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, leave a comment that says Happy Halloween. Be sure to check out the Patreon if you want monthly mail with cute stationery. I post a video usually around the beginning of each month. If you're interested in that, uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a comment if you want and also tag me if you joined me in doing a spread this October because I also love seeing uh, the people that watch these videos. That is it for now. Have a safe and happy Halloween and go watch some scary movies. Me, me duca.